Well, I, <laughs> I guess I've seen both sides of it, and so I've always thought that you had this obligation to give back because. When I started school, you know, I worked in the, with the tour team and I saw how hard people for the, worked to promote the university. Um, I was also part of the fundraising team to where, when they used to have students call and ask alumni for gifts or to give back. And so I always said, you know, once I'm out of school, I'll answer that call because I knew how hard it was for you to be an 18, 19 year old kid calling someone, you know, to give money and that person's like, no, no, thank you. So. Once I was out of school, they asked me to give and I started giving. Let's see, I give to the law school um, because you know there are so many great professors and, and deans there that, that not only helped me when I was in school and were great teachers, but they, they're also still a constant source of feedback and help and assistance whenever you need them. Um, and so I try to give them both financially um, and if they have students that you know they're recruiting that they want help with or whatever. Um, I try to give that, you know, give my time. So you can also, you can give money, you can give time. Um, just hopefully whatever I can do to help make the university a little better than when it was when I was here. Um, I also give to intercollegiate athletics because um, I'm a huge football fan, but I'm also, I love the non-traditional sports that give, you know, kids an opportunity to come and, and work on their, their, almost that team concept and, and get them prepared to do some great things in life. Well, frankly, I thought I was way too young <laughs> because, you know, and I guess I'm not as young as I used to be, but I always thought of, you know, trustees and people that did things like that as the older generation that has established, you know, this long giving history um, as opposed to someone who's only been out of school, what, 10 years? Mm -hmm. um, so.